So maybe you've already heard talk about the 2024 updates for Gmail and anti-spam. And if you haven't just know that this month, there are some things that we need to be aware of as email marketers, as business owners that are running email lists and email marketing, and some changes that we might need to make in our domains in order to comply with new anti-spam requirements. But this can all seem quite confusing if you are not a technical person. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to do all of the domain verification and authentication steps to make sure that your emails that you're sending your list are seen as trustworthy and are less likely to go into spam inboxes when all these new changes take place. Okay, so before we even start, you want to have two things ready. The first is a custom domain. So for example, rosannaclark.com is an example of a domain and you can purchase these with a domain host or provider. I personally recommend GoDaddy because it integrates really easily with lots of different things, including Flowdesk. So I will leave a link below for GoDaddy if you haven't got a custom domain already, but there's loads of different places you can purchase a domain if you haven't got one. The second thing you want to have is a branded email address that uses that domain that you've purchased. So for example, hello at rosannaclark.com is an example of a branded email address. It is not a generic email address such as rc123 at gmail.com or Rosanna Clark at hotmail.com. Gmail and Hotmail and Yahoo and other email inboxes like that are unbranded generic email addresses that you set up without using a domain. And you don't want to be using one of these email addresses when we are setting up our email marketing on Flowdesk. And this isn't just because a branded email address looks more professional, which is obviously a bonus. We also need a branded email address and our own custom domain in order to comply with anti-spam regulations as well. So make sure that you've got those two things set up first. So because we have set up this account with our branded email address and we clicked that link in the email that Flowdesk sent to verify the email address, that means that this email is now verified. If you haven't clicked this link yet in the email that Flowdesk sent you, um, this will say that your email address is not verified. So you do need to come in here and definitely click that link. And this is just Flowdesk double checking that this account was definitely meant to be set up. This is also the settings of which email address you're going to be sending your email newsletters and campaigns from. So let's say that this is an email newsletter from Flowdesk. Um, because it's coming from Flowdesk, it says that the from email is hello at flowdesk.com and the name is Flowdesk. So when you send out your email newsletters, you obviously want it to say your business name and then your branded email address here. So that is what these settings are for. So you may not want to put your full name. You could just put the name of your business in my case, uh, the name of my business is my full name. So I'm just going to type that in there and then click off it to save the changes. Now this email address was already in here because this was the email that we set up our account with. What happens if you set up your Flowdesk account with your rc123 at gmail.com generic email address? That email address is then going to appear in here and it's probably going to say not verified or something like that. In this case, we do not want to be sending emails from that generic email address, as I mentioned. So don't bother attempting to verify that Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo or generic email address from in here. Just go to add new sender and you want to type in your business name and your branded email that we talked about just now. And then that is going to again, send you that verification email. You have to click the link in the email and then there'll be a button where you can set that to be the default sender. You want to make sure that your generic email address, if you have one listed in here, is not set as the default sender because we want to make sure that all of our emails are being sent from our branded email address. So once that's all set up and verified, we can then head into the domain setup. Now these steps are really, really important. We basically want to edit some settings inside your domain, which essentially tell inboxes that your domain and your branded email address that we've set up is trustworthy and therefore not to put emails from you into spam. And the settings that we need to edit inside your domain are called these things. Now don't worry about the names or the labelings of these. Um, there's also information around the web about who needs what settings and what the requirements are for different businesses and different uses. But honestly, just to be on the safe side and make sure that your domain is set up to protect you as your email list grows. You just want to add all of these settings and not worry too much about what all of them mean. Just know that it's a really important step. We're just gonna add all of it just to be on the safe side. So Flowdesk is going to walk you through what settings you need to edit in your domain. And when I say in your domain, I mean where you have purchased your domain. So for example, GoDaddy or 123reg is another example of it. 
it's going to walk you through how to do this. So if you just click verify now, you'll see there is actually an automatic verification option, which means that you don't have to really worry about editing anything yourself. But this is only available for certain domain providers, such as GoDaddy. That is an example of one that will automatically verify your domain. If you're using 123reg or SiteGround, for example, you can just click automatically verify and it will set all this up for you pretty much instantly. So if you click this button, it will walk you through a couple more steps to edit the settings in your domain on your behalf. And then it can take between 24 to 48 hours for things to actually verify and for this to update within Flowdesk. Once everything has been verified correctly, this will say verified and these will turn green. So you've got the three green lights uh, to go ahead with actually emailing your audience after this point. So if you do do the automatic option and it doesn't say verified straight away and maybe one of these are showing green or not all of them are showing green yet, just make sure that you have waited 24 to 48 hours for everything to take some time to update before you move on to troubleshooting and thinking that it hasn't worked. But if this step hasn't worked or if you are using a different domain provider that doesn't support this automatic verification process, you can just do it manually. And again, Flowdesk will walk you through these steps as well. So it's automatically detected that my domain is hosted with GoDaddy. It might tell you that it's detected your domain is with a different company or it might say that it hasn't detected it. And that's fine, just click the next button and then it's gonna give you some DNS records. And these are the settings that we need to add to our domain. And everyone's might look slightly different. You might have more options. They might all say different things. So these are your unique settings that you need to add to your domain. So how do you actually do this? I'm gonna go into GoDaddy and this is a similar process no matter what domain provider or host you are using. So GoDaddy, I click on the domain that I want to edit. I'm going to go to domain and I'm gonna click on the button that says manage DNS. Now it doesn't matter if your screen doesn't look like this or you have a different system, you are just looking for a button somewhere or an option that says manage DNS settings or edit DNS settings or advanced DNS settings. You're basically just looking for the phrase DNS. Then you should see a screen that looks something like this. You want to ignore anything to do with name servers or anything like that, You're just looking at DNS records. And if you see something like this, you're in the right place. So these are the unique settings that apply to your domain that is allowing it to connect to your website and connect to your email inbox and things like that. So you do not want to delete or edit any of the existing records that are in here. We're going to be adding new ones here by clicking on add new record. And there are a few different types of DNS records you can add to your domain. You'll see a drop down list here, but it says specifically inside Flowdesk which types you want to be adding. So don't worry too much about what they mean. So this first one we want to add is called a CNAME record. So I'm going to select CNAME from the drop down. And GoDaddy is asking me what the name of this record should be and what the value of this record should be. If we go back into Flowdesk, you can see here it actually calls it host and then points to. So in this case, host is just another word for name. So you want to copy this host record and paste it into the namespace here. And then in Flowdesk where it says points to, this is the same as value. I know it's confusing that it's called different things and your domain provider may be slightly different, but it typically follows this same one, two, three step order. So we need to just copy where it says points to and paste it into value. But don't worry too much about where it says TTL, just leave it to what it is automatically set as the default there and then click save. Now the record we've just copied for host is fte dot underscore domain key dot rosannaclark.co.uk. Our domain is the rosannaclark.co.uk section. Now some domain providers, when you are editing the DNS, will automatically by default add your domain at the end of this record anyway. So you actually don't need to include this when you are copying it over to the domain settings. But if this is the case, it should give you an alert. GoDaddy has just given me an alert here. It said you've essentially just created a record that says fde dot underscore domain key dot rosanna clark dot uk dot rosanna clark dot uk because it automatically adds this domain bit at the end for us anyway. So it's giving us a suggestion. Do we want to resolve this and just ignore that duplicate domain? And yes, we do. So we want to select yes, this record should be this version not the version with two domains. 
So that has now updated the DNS records with the one that I've just added and we can scroll down to find it. Here we've got the C name, the host name is fde underscore domain key and this is the unique value that we copied in from Flowdesk as well. So now we just need to copy the same steps with the next record. So again, this record is a C name. So we're gonna copy this, click add new record, select C name and paste in what we just copied. Now we know from just now that GoDaddy will automatically add this bit to the end of our records anyway. So we could just delete this and leave it as F desk or we can keep it in and it's gonna show us that alert anyway. If you're not sure and you don't want to be messing around and editing these things, that might be a better option. Then we want to copy the second bit where it says points to and paste it into the value. And again, just leave the TTL as it is. Click save. And again, it's saying we're automatically adding this bit for you. So do you just want to keep it as this shorter version? Yes, we do. Click save. And then again, it's going to update and add that record for us. So if we scroll down, we can now see that that has been added here. And then we just want to add the third record, which is a text record. So copy the host or name option, click add record. And this time from the drop down, we are selecting text and paste that in there. And again, we know GoDaddy is about to add that for us. So we can just get rid of that and leave it as that. And we then want to copy the second bit of this record here and leave the TTL as is. Click save. Okay, so it's added that, but I might need to click on to view the next page to see my text records. So we can see it's been added here, text, and then the rest of the details are here as well. So now that we've added all of these records, we can click on next. And it's telling us that the domain can take up to 48 hours to finish this verification process. So just click done for now. And then after 48 hours, or it might be quicker, mine's pretty much done it instantly. It will give you the green light to say, yes, you have added all of those three records correctly and your domain is officially verified. So you can start sending emails from this domain safely and you're fulfilling all of the anti-spam requirements that we now need when we are sending marketing emails. Now, as I said before, if you set up your Flowdesk account with an email address that ended in at gmail.com or at yahoo.com and it's just a generic email address, what you might find, even once you have added your branded email address to the email setup bit, you might find that you have a section here that shows Gmail as a domain and it's going to say that this isn't verified. You basically want to ignore and delete that. Um, you're not going to be using a generic email address or a Gmail or anything like that type of domain in your Flowdesk account. So delete it and just make sure that you've got your custom domain and your branded email address all set up and verified. Now, one thing which does crop up sometimes is you might end up going into your DNS settings where your domain is hosted. So for example, I have a domain called thecornishlife.co.uk and I've gone into my domains, gone in to manage it, and then I'm looking for the DNS, manage DNS configuration area. Um, and what you might find is that you've got no records in your DNS settings you might have a message at the top saying that you are using custom name servers and therefore you cannot edit your DNS. Whatever you do, do not press reset or um, go back to default uh, name servers. Do not press this button. This could cause issues with your website. All this means is because of the way that your website hosting is set up is your DNS settings are managed and you'll need to edit them somewhere else. You can't do it from within here. In my case, my domain I've purchased with UK2Net, I'm actually using SiteGround to host my website and that is where my DNS settings are and that's where I would need to edit them. So I then need to go into SiteGround and into my website hosting information and click on Site Tools. And this is where I'll find that my domain is connected here somewhere. And this is obviously going to be different depending on where your website is hosted. But you want to go into your website hosting and essentially just look for where it says domain. And then again, we want to be editing the DNS. So open this and we can see that I've connected this domain that I've actually purchased with UK2Net. And then this is where all of my DNS settings are. So you just follow the same process that I just showed you, but inside your website hosting rather than where you had purchased your domain. But this is only relevant if you've got custom name servers set up and if you come in here and you can't see any DNS settings in here, that means your domain settings are needing to be edited somewhere else. 
If you need any more help with anything Flowdesk related, check out my online course, Email Marketing with Flowdesk. I walk you through how to start, grow and nurture a thriving email list, all using Flowdesk, both with everything you need to know about email strategy and all of the tech tutorials within Flowdesk as well. This is what it looks like inside. There are loads of different lessons walking you through step-by-step step, all of your Flowdesk settings, organizing subscribers, creating and designing email newsletters, advanced automations, and optimizing your emails as well. I'll leave a link with more information about this course below this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week with another video.